Hey, what's happening, guys? Well, this looks fun and interesting and colorful, doesn't it? And there's like absolutely no information on the box as to what it could be. But it does have a, uh, a handle. And a piece of foam. Oh, it's exciting. Okay. Totally not in English. But I think we can see enough of it now that we know it's a generator. A uh, little. Well, it's not actually little, but it is a uh, a hand crank generator with the instructions. Yeah, completely in Chinese. What do you expect? We order the stuff from China. The instructions are going to come in Chinese. So I'm going to put the handle on here, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so the handle's on. And I noticed one problem right away, which you can probably see yourself here. The handle's so long that it is not going to fit flat. Now, there's not so much torque going on here that you would actually need this much handle. So I'm not quite sure why that is like that all right let's uh let's find something that we can put under this oh i almost worked until i whacked my lights all right that'll work now uh Hold on. So I have attached a couple of the outputs over here. And it's on 15 volts. I'm gonna turn this down. Let's take it to a let's take it to five volts. And we'll give her a spin. It's just a leisurely spin. Nothing terribly exciting. Maybe about one RPM. No, that's not right. 60 RPMs. <laughs> and you see we're getting 5.33 volts. That's that's okay. Let's take it up to 9 volts. And I'm going to try and keep it about the same 60 RPMs. Yeah. 9 volts. Take it up to 12. Again, keeping the same RPM. All right, what if we spin it in the opposite direction? Do we get negative voltage? Now well, it's winding down. Is it ever going to cross the zero threshold? No, it doesn't look like it. So a clockwise turn will give you positive voltage. Counterclockwise doesn't seem to give you much of anything. Now, let's take these leads out of here and put them in the other side. And we'll see what a... See what we get over here. Uh, it's still set for 12 volts. Okay, that's interesting. That's 20 some volts. Let's, uh, let's take that down to three. Okay, so this side must be the unregulated. And perhaps, uh, whoops, the faster I spin it, the more voltage I get. Yeah. Okay, so that's a, 
that's what we got going on here. All right, now that we've looked at this, we're able to tell a little bit better what's going on. So this is the regulated output. This is the unregulated output. This is the voltage selector. And this is frightening. These are USB uh, jacks. But they are listed at 3 through 15 volts. You would definitely want to make sure that you have your switch in the proper position. Because if you put that in the wrong place, uh, no es bueno. All right, let's have a look inside. I mean, that's why we're here. Screws out. And we take the lid off. And what do we have here? Well, we've got a gear reduction system driving a cheap drill motor. And that's going back here to our voltage regulation system. Which, uh, I mean, there's not really much to see here. Let me grab a uh, pointer. Yeah, there's a... I bet you that's a, a 6066 or 6068 boost regulator chip. Or buck re a buck regulator chip right there. Diode couple of capacitors and inductor yeah incredibly simple construction which I like I mean this is metal that's probably aluminum this is very nice powder coated the uh, the only thing I don't like about this is the um, the crank handle but uh, we'll take a closer look at that here in a second let me put this back together okay I, I looked in there and that chip that's on this voltage regulator board is an LM2596 voltage regulator IC so we're getting what is it about 24 volts or such out of this unregulated side it's going through that LM2596 through the regulated side and it can be adjusted so all in all I like this it's nice here's the problem the screw that they've given you doesn't match the hole I mean this is metal so it will last a while but you definitely want to put a different size screw in there and honestly I think you could cut the uh, the length of this crank for this generator in half I mean this works I like it you're gonna get a low current relatively steady voltage output out of this you know what we need to do we need to put this on the scope and take a look at the ripple and also see what kind of current we can expect out of it now, to do that, we're going to have to wait till tomorrow when my new oscilloscope arrives. But we'll do it tomorrow, I promise. Until then, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.